this problem, we're going to take the original blue graph, call it f of x, and then we're going to perform reflections over the different axes. So negative f of x, the one I'm going to draw in green, is going to be a reflection over the y-axis. Sorry, yeah, reflection over, oh no, I made the y negative, so this will be a reflection over the x-axis. And then in red, on the exact same picture, I will draw the one that has the x being negative, and that's going to be a reflection over the y-axis. Okay, and we're going to do it fairly straightforward here in the sense that when I look at all these points, to reflect it, I'm just going to move whichever coordinate I say that I need to. So for the negative f of x, let's take this point right here first that's located at 0, negative 3. And if I were to reflect this over the x-axis, remember this is the x-axis. So reflecting over the x-axis is going to flip it onto the other side. So the x-coordinate is going to stay the same. But the y-coordinate, instead of being negative 3, is going to be flipped up here to positive 3. The second point looks to be located around 2, negative 1. Again, we're going to leave the x the same because we're flipping over the x-axis. I'm going to flip the y-coordinate from negative 1 going up to positive 1. And for the last point, which looks to be located around 4, comma, negative 2, again, we're going to leave the x the same. We're going to flip it over the x-axis. And so the y, instead of being negative 2, is going to be positive 2. So that's where that point's going to go. So if we connect our little dots here, the graph of the reflection over the x-axis should look like this. And if you did it on paper, you can actually see how it looks like it's been flipped over the x-axis. For the reflection over the y-axis, we're going to leave the y-coordinates the same and flip the x-coordinate to its opposite sign. So for 0, negative 3, it actually is going to have an x-coordinate of 0. So we keep the y-coordinate the same, and the x-coordinate gets opposited. But since it's 0, it's just going to stay there. For this point at 2, negative 1, the x-coordinate is going to now become a negative 2, because we're taking the opposite of the x-coordinate. So that's going to go over here. Notice the y, y stays the same. And then in the final position, we have 4, negative 2. So we're going to move that over to negative 4, negative 2. So that's going to be right about there. So the reflection over the y-axis is going to look like there to there and there to there. Nice. So why don't you try one on your own? Look at this picture. f of x again is blue. Green is going to be a reflection over the x-axis, and red is going to be a reflection over the y-axis. Pause the video and see if you can reflect over the x and the y on your own. And assuming that you've done it, uh, given your best shot here, we're going to take the point for the reflection over the x-axis. Instead of being this first point being up at 2, we're going to keep the same x-coordinate but put it down at negative 2. Instead of this point's y-coordinate being negative 2, we're going to flip it over up to positive 2. And this one's y-coordinate is 0, and the opposite of 0 is just 0, so I'm going to redraw it exactly where it is. OK, so now we connect our green dots from there to there, and from here to here. Now for red, over the y-axis, we're going to opposite the x-coordinates. So the one that was located negative 2 is now going to be moved over here to 2. The one that was located here at positive 2 is going to come over to negative 2. And the one that had an x-coordinate of positive 4 is going to move over to negative 4. I didn't realize when I was writing this up, but these have a lot of uh, overlap. <laughs> so hopefully you can read or pause the video as we went through the color color changes here to distinguish them anyway. And then there's the connector for the last piece of red. And those would be the reflections over the x-axis and the y-axis.